Hey guys, I recorded an arrangement of Smile and uh, I just wanted to share the score with you. So here's a quick look. Okay guys, so I broke down the chords from the intro. Here we go. Uh, so everything here is pretty much straightforward. Um, this chord right here, G13 sharp nine over A flat, uh, sounds like this. That's the best I could come up with for a chord name. Um, I normally don't even think about chords that much. Uh, I just play whatever comes out and I write it in the score. So let me know if you guys have a better name for that chord. I just use it as a nice passing chord to go to the A flat minor six. These rootless chords right here. Uh, this approach is something I do on organ a lot. Sometimes I don't use the bass pedals and I'll just play some rootless stuff. And the bass comes in on the F7 sharp nine sharp five. And then these two chords right here, I mean, I play them a lot in church. Or if I was in church, I would play. Right? <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have wrote this. Ah, nah, never mind. Uh, okay, that's it. So here's the intro. We have the French horns right here, uh, the harp, uh, second violins and violas. They come in with this line. Then at bar five, everybody else joins in. Okay, so right here, bar seven, I want to talk about these grace notes right there. Normally, if I'm playing uh, piano or organ in church, I'm not going to play. I would normally put some more notes in there, something more like this. Take a look at bar eight, the clarinets right here. I added some extra notes in there. I didn't just go. I did. When I'm playing gospel music, I do something like this. You can hear like the moving notes in the left hand. So that's pretty much what I had in mind for bar eight with the clarinets, the moving notes. And even right here in bar nine, you can see I added some grace notes right there. Still like more of a church thing. So I'm always thinking of, you know, church and organ and piano and what I would play uh, if I was playing gospel music and I always try to put that in the score so that's what I had in mind for all these little grace notes all right so right here in bar 11 the French horn takes the lead with this line all right so if you look at the chords down here uh, the D flat major 7 is C minor 11 I pretty much took this phrase right here did it a minor third up right here. It's the same thing. So measure 13, violins one and two. These two right here are overdubs. Normally when all the main strings are recorded, I'll come back and add the additional violins on top. All right, so notice that the first two notes are the same. You got G sharp and A, right? And then the third note breaks into A sharp and a G. So right there you break into minor thirds and then the rest of the run is pretty much a chromatic run in minor thirds. Then the run ends on A and F sharp. Okay, so let's look right here at measure 14. Let's look at the winds. 
So right there in 14 with the winds, instead of just writing this triad, this D triad, still, now again, I'm thinking if I was in church, would I play this? Or would I play something like this? So there, there's another church move um, writing in the winds and more grace notes right here. So we got... So another thing, all the grace notes I play in church. Okay, then right here in measure 16, we have the oboe here, oboe solo, and I doubled it with the Glock. I think that's a really cool sound. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to be posting more videos in the near future. Thanks.